Hello. Okay, this is a tutorial on how to make the keyboard pen. Now, this should just use household items. So you... what I've used is the card from a cereal box, which hopefully you'll just have. The paints, I've got a yellow paint, a silver paint, and a black paint. Also a blue paint, which I don't have. I used some Mod Podge glue or a glue stick. I've used a pen, obviously. Um, obviously it needs a lid as well, but I use mine. And some sort of chain. This is a different kind of chain that I have there because I only had a little bit of that. But you can use this sort of chain. And also some clay, some Sculpey clay or some polymer clay if you have any. But if not, you can use make it out of the card. Okay. And obviously scissors, knife, that sort of thing. Okay. But that's everything that you need. So hopefully it should be a cheap, fun project for you. First of all, you want to begin by drawing the rough shape of what you want it to turn out like. Now, this I've already finished, but what I did is get the pen and measure it up. I drew it out and I measured where the lid would be up to. And then I drew on these designs. I cut them out in card first, so I could just flip these round and it would be the same. And then I drew on the um, keychain. And basically I use this as a, a rough template worth throughout making it. Once you've got your design you can trace it out onto some card. I'm using a cereal box card and I roughly need six layers to make it thick enough. So trace it out six times. I've done it three this way and three this way so I won't have any of the picture from the card out on the outside, I can just switch them around. So cut these out until you've got six. And it's roughly how thick you need it. You can also do this out of clay or foam board or just lots and lots of paper. But see the box is something most people have. Okay. So you cut them out. Okay, also on Sora's keyblade, he has these sorts of indentations. So what you could do is cut them out of one layer. And then when you stick them together, you'll have all your pieces, and then one of them with the indent. Okay. So I cut the rest of them out, and put these holes in two of them. Make sure they're on opposite sides. Okay, once you've got all your pieces cut out, it's time to stick them together. I'm going to use two different ways of sticking them to see which one works best. I've got a glue stick, and I've got... PVA glue. See which one works best. Okay. Now we're using a cereal box. It's normally got a glossy side, so if you just scratch that a little bit, it'll help it stick. So, using a knife, sandpaper, anything, give it just a little bit of a something extra to stick onto. most likely not going to line up properly so you'll just have to cut them out afterwards so oh. 
Yeah, I just did it. Give him one last. Okay. Do one layer, leave it to dry, do the rest. Once you've got all your handle pieces stuck together, uh, you're probably going to notice they're a bit uneven. But if you just want to like cut them a little bit, even them up, sand them maybe. And what I'm going to do is put a bit of this mod podge on, on the all along the edges and hope that it sort of evens it out. It's going to be painted over anyway, so should help it. Okay, now I'm just going to leave that to its side to set fully and hopefully it will round out a bit. The pretty stick and the Mod Podge worked almost exactly the same gluing together. Okay. I'm going to leave those to dry completely and see what they look like in a bit. They might need another coat of that on the outside. Okay, now for the crown end blade thing. All right. I've tried doing this a different way. You can still cut them out on pieces of card, put about six together, layer them up, and just like I did with the handle. But I did something different. I've already done this. Um, so I won't be showing you how I made it. But basically, I've made it out of polymer clay. Basically, all I did was get some clay, put it onto a, in a ball, then I put the pattern on top of it. And then cut it out with the knife and then put it in the oven and then it came out with this i just sanded it down and put it stuck it on with mod podge okay and i think that looks pretty nice so it's just to try out different ways of making stuff okay i stuck it on with mod podge and there's also these little crease lines where I, just to make it a bit more flush i've got some more Mod Podge, and then just smooth it on. Just to try and fill out this little gap. On this side, it's very flush, I don't need it. Just on here, and there. Okay. And then wipe off, off the pen, leaving it in the middle. Okay, and then do that a couple of times, leave it to dry. It should look good. Okay, the next part I'm going to make is the lid and how it, the handle attaches to it. Now, with this one, it's an angled one, so it's not going to film properly. So, what you're going to have to do is get a piece of card or paper, anything, and roll it around. So, firstly, you want to make sure it measures up to the handle rather than the lid. You can extend it past the lid, but it has to fit the handle. So just mark it off. It really doesn't have to be long. And I'm gonna have room with me, weirdly enough. Okay. Just cut a bit of that out. Okay. You don't need much. I want to roll it onto the lid but first you need to get rid of this little lumpy bit so it rolls on flat or as flat as you can get it so use a knife sandpaper anything you can use to just get this as low down in the plastic as you can just remember to be safe you won't drink this afterwards okay now I've got mine off sanded off I've taken cut off the ridge Take the end off and flan this. Okay. You're going to take the piece of card that you cut out before and then just roll it around. Okay. You want this as thin as possible. So once you've, you find out where it gets to, and you're only going to want a little bit extra. So cut that. Leave around a centimeter gap. And then it's time to glue that. So once you've cut it to length, get some glue, and then just glue the end. Oh, that's the glue all of it. It's easy enough.
and then just really pen lid round it. Try and get it as even as possible. You want to wait that for that to dry and then you can move on to the next step of sealing it a bit more proper. Alright, I'm going to seal in the lid into this bit of paper. I'm using hot glue gun, I've got it on a low setting and I'm just going to squeeze it in. Hope that it fills up, but not too much. Hopefully it'll seal it in a bit more. Okay. There you go. I'm just going to leave that to completely dry. Once you're happy with how rounded the handles are, now it's time to attach it. Now, you have to make sure you put them right way around. This is part where the lid goes in and you want it this way up. So this is the bottom and this is where the lid goes in. Now, I'm going to try two different ways of putting it on. I'm going to use hot glue and I'm going to use PVA glue on the other one to see which one works best. So using your hot glue, I've got it on a high temperature. Just put it on each end of the card. Just stick it on. I'm going to put it over the fold. Try and cover a bit of that up. Okay, attaching the other handle to it. Again, make sure it's the right around. I'm using Mod Podge. You can use a pretty stick or any other kind of glue which might work for you. This is just a test. So, add a bit of that. Which will hopefully be enough. Right around. Try and get exactly on the opposite side. Okay, I'm going to leave that to try and set. Hopefully that will set as it is. Okay, the Mod Podge does work, but not very well. So I'm going to take it off and you use the hot glue, but you can use it. Anyways, so add your hot glue, same as you do again. And then leave the set again. Alright, the glue is now completely cooled. What I've done is I've cut off the excess which was pushed out. I just cut it off with a knife. To make it all nice and flat. I've also used some of the Mod Podge, put it on a sponge, just dabbed it on, smoothed it off to hopefully mean that this card, it just accepts the paint a little bit better. I've put it all around and that's all dried now. So that's almost finished. The tip, that's all I'm happy with the flat of that now. So, uh, and that's most of the keyboard just got to make the little keychain okay so this can go to a side for now okay to make the keychain part i'm using clay now, i've rolled it out to the thickness that i want it and marked off a general shape of the mickey icon so i'm going to cut that out Okay, once you've got general shape, you can just sort of smooth it out a little bit. Okay, until you're happy with your shape. So, I'm happy with that. I think the size is around about what I want it. Okay. Next part you have to do is find out what type of chain you want. Now, this is from like a bulldog style chain, and this is more of a chain link. I'm going to be using this one so it looks a bit more like it should do, but this one is probably more available. So, cut it to a sort of length where you want it, measure it up against your keychain, key blade. And then, what I'm going to do is attach it inside the clear. If 
you're going to be making this out of clay and you're going to add the chain, just be careful because you are going to have to put it in the oven and the chain will get very, very hot. So just be very careful. Also what you could do is draw it out on card, cut it out and make a few templates, get a few layers, glue it together as we did the handle and attach it the same way. But I think I'm going to have the clay mold. Okay. So I'll go put the clay part in the oven and see how that turns out. So the keychain is out of the oven now, it's completely cooled down and it seems to have worked fairly well. Nice in there, nice and smooth. So next part is attaching it into here. Now luckily when I put the hot glue in before it created a kind of ditch so what I'm going to do is put the chain in and put more hot glue in also what you could do is wrap it in paper and then just wad it in put it in some more put it in some stick glue or something similar but the hot glue is most likely easiest how I'm going to do this is I'm going to put a little bit of glue in first put this in and then put a bit more glue around the outside Right. Bit in there. Alright. <laughs> After the hot glue is completely dried, I've decided to add these little bits of card onto these parts. It raises up the handle a little bit more, makes it a bit more defined like it is in the game. I'm going to add glue and just glue them on there with PVA glue instead of hot glue. You will need to pre-bend these, otherwise they'll just open up again. So cut them into shape and roll them around something I used the glue stick and sort of build it. Seems to work pretty well. It only gives it a bit more character than it had before. And when they're all on just make sure they're all properly pressed down. Again, it needs to dry. So the next step, it's mostly finished now, I think all it needs is a bit of paint. Probably a good thing to make sure of, don't leave your paint for two years. All of it's finished now, apart from the paint, so I'm going to start with the silver, do the shaft and the crown, and the keychain part. And leaving this bit, so you can take that bit off for now, and you just paint these. Okay. okay. While that's drying, I'm going to put just a layer of the black on, just have to do less later. I'm going to do another coat on afterwards, but you know, to get rid of some of the work. After all the paint is dried, you can need the black up. I'm going to put a little dab of bronze in the indentations just to bring it out a little bit more. So there's one final bit of paint left to do. So put the pieces together and push it in firmly. And then you're going to want to put a thin layer of blue around here just to finish it off. You want to put your lid on so you know how far up to go. I think that band finishes it off nicely. And there's the finished key blade. Okay, that's the original concept drawing. Pretty accurate size wise, maybe a little bit smaller, but it looks good. 
just to show it is actually a functioning pen as well. Okay. There we go. And that's how to make a keyblade pen. I hope anyone tries and makes it, and if you do, let me know, see how it went, and tell me how you made the different parts of it, and how it worked out for you. Hey, thank you very much for watching. Bye. Come